I feel like I'm in denial sometimes and I can't accept some of the things that I've done. This guy had a bowl and he like gagged me until I threw up into it. And then he like pissed in the bowl. And during the scene, he asked me to drink it. And I didn't know how to say no. It was one of the most disgusting, foul scenes I ever had to do. And I'm telling a therapist this and they don't even fucking know what to say to me. People getting pissed on, men are pissing inside of women's vaginas, assholes, down their throats. They're... Sorry. Oh, (laughs) don't cry. (laughs) What's up, guys? Today's episode is about Lana Rhodes. She was one of the most famous prawn stars of 2019 and probably ever. The interesting thing about this to me is that she made over $24 million shooting around 370 scenes with all these guys. Now she's advocating we should shut down the entire prawn industry. She thinks it's horrible. She was mistreated, yada, yada, yada. My question is, why isn't she donating all that money that she made to some kind of a charity to help ban the industry? She's going to live off of all that money she made and basically yap out the other side of her mouth about shutting down the industry. I don't doubt that she was mistreated in this industry. I've worked in it and I can tell you that that's just what happens in this industry. Imagine thinking that selling your body on camera for the entire world to see wasn't mistreatment to begin with. First of all, you're mistreating your own body, but second, you're mistreating the person who's going to end up with you because there's a visual record of all the fucked up things that you've done and all the fucked up things that have been done to you out there for your future boyfriend or a husband to see and your kids too one day you're gonna have kids your kids are gonna grow up and they're gonna see these videos what kind of a woman would do this to her future family her children and her future husband let's go ahead and jump into it and see what she has to say about the industry did you ever go through those experiences where you had to do a scene where it was very aggressive and you just felt like yeah i mean i don't want to go into too much detail like honestly some of my experiences are really humiliating for me and i wish that they never happened if she was humiliated by these scenes imagine how that's going to turn out for her future family there's stuff going on like people getting pissed on men are pissing inside of women's vaginas assholes down their throats they're sorry (laughs) oh don't cry (laughs) Yeah, see, that shit right there, that's real. This girl right here, she's traumatized for the rest of her life. She's got a shit ton of baggage that she's going to be carrying around to her future relationships and her children and whoever else she comes into contact with. That shit is deep-seated trauma that's going to express itself one way or another. Tell me something, it is. Now I'm crying. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> no, don't cry. I'm just okay. giving some examples. But... No, that's honestly, that's really hard. And I think like I had mentioned earlier, it's just so important for young men to stop viewing, stop viewing women as sex objects, because I believe that, you know, instilling that curriculum in school at a younger age and they had actually said there's a fact. That- what the hell is she talking about? The entire purpose of the industry is to view women as sexual objects. Like that's where the money comes from. And that's how you were able to buy your mansion and all the crap that you buy. What the hell are you talking about? Of course, that's how men view women in these prawn scenes. That says that. The more a young person had learned about the use of pornography from their school education or sex education is less likely to see women as sex objects. And I feel that's why, you know, I I feel so passionate about the porn industry because I don't believe that they should be showing those types of scenes because it does view women as just an object. And it's not okay to do that. Like, I enjoy watching porn like girl, like I, you know, but. Yeah, I enjoy it, guys. I love watching prawn and the scenes where women are objectified, but but we need to teach men not to see these women as objects. I mean, make that make sense, Karen. Make it make sense. But like, I want to watch ethical porn. I want it to be normalized and I want it to be taught to where it shouldn't be to where a woman is being abused and yeah. is, you know, like the, the male is showing aggression because that actually is going to translate into his relationships with women in the future, his wife. Like, mm-hmm. it's actually statistically... Oh, you're worried about what's going to transition into his wife? You're not worried about all the crap that you're going to transition into your future husband's relationship? See, that this is this is the problem with these women. Like they're always concerned about what you can do for them and how you're going to transition trauma into their life. You're not important enough for them to protect their bodies and chastity and minds for the future relationship that you'll have with them. They've proven that it's going to show aggression 
in a marriage in a relationship and that's i mean how is that healthy like that's not healthy at all well a lot of it is like young boys how is it healthy to have 500 dudes basically blasting in your face on camera and pissing in your butthole how is that healthy for the future of your family and the people that you're going to come into contact with boys don't understand and they think that this is normal and that's what girls want so they've probably never been with a girl before and they see these horrible things and they're like oh this is how to please a girl this is what i have to do yeah. this is what she wants and then they you know do these things and they act certain ways and they don't realize the effects that they're having on women yeah well they do say that serial killer and rapists are the ones who are consuming these extreme mm -hmm. types of porns a lot of um serial killers when they've gone through their search history they're watching like these abusive porn and there's tons of mm -hmm. pornography on their search yeah. history i mean i'm not talks. i'm not gonna lie i obviously like i said i've watched porn i do yeah i mean well, there's, i've there's stumbled there's nothing wrong with watching <laughs> yeah porn, but i've yeah. stumbled upon there's nothing wrong with watching prawn there's nothing wrong with it guys <laughs> oh don't cry <laughs> She's been in 370 scenes. The worst, most vile things have been done to her. But she's she's a prude. <laughs> she's a prude and she's only been with five guys. She says that a lot of people think that she's down to F. But in real life, I'm a very proper person. That is real life. Who told you that going to a studio and getting destroyed and your back blown out by multiple dudes wasn't real? Did you think that happened in your imagination? Guys, this is a problem right here. The feminist woke machine convinces these women that somehow selling their bodies is empowering. Really, it's destroying their minds, their bodies, and their health. Not to mention everything every other relationship that they're ever going to come into in the future. I, I oh, know yeah. that I got emotional, but I do want to continue giving examples mm -hmm. of some of those things just so people know. Um, what are, but what were some of the things that you saw that you were like, wow, this is really crazy. Yeah, I mean, th there was one scene where I had seen, um, obviously the, the male was having sex with a girl and um, she was literally crying because he was being so aggressive. Like, I guess, you know, he was just too big for her. I mean, mm -hmm. she was like full blown crying mm -hmm. and he was like slapping her. Like, you like that? Like, you know, I was just yeah. like, oh my God, how can this, like, I could not get off to this. Uh, I don't it's know so who watches this. And I mean, to me, it's just, it really makes me sad because I think of the girl and I think, wow, like I can just see it in her eyes that she did not want to do this scene but she's doing it because of the reasons of, you know, she needs the money or this is a flexible job for her right now. She was convinced she was. If you don't want to do the scene, then you just don't do it. The problem you have is that you don't want to go work a real job. You can go work at McDonald's. Literally anyone can, but you just don't want to work. You'd rather just lay there and get your back blown out and have dudes busting nuts in your face, your butt and peeing all over you because that's easy money, right? You don't have to work. I had no choice. I had to pay my bills. That's why I'm doing this. Pressured, you know, she was manipulated into to doing this by her agent because he you know told her like it's either this way or the highway like i can't even imagine how that girl felt having to do something that she clearly does not want to do like there this is not acting like she's full-blown crying mm -hmm. you know like i there's just no way she's acting and enjoying this so yeah no i've had friends who have been choked out so much that they've actually passed out during a scene um there's really just like crazy stuff going on that damages people's bodies for the rest of their lives. Mm -hmm. I luckily don't have any issues, but I've seen scenes shot in Europe where guys are literally punching into a girl's asshole like this. I'm like, she's going to have issues for the rest of her yeah, life yeah. due to this. <laughs> and is it worth someone making a little bit of money and someone jerking off to it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Was it worth it? Why don't you donate that money to a program that can help educate kids and maybe stop the industry from producing more? No, but you'd rather just virtue signal about it living in your mansion. Honestly, I feel like I'm in denial sometimes and I can't accept some of the things that I've done. There is one thing that, you know, I tried talking to a therapist about before something that I had to do for a scene that was really rough for me. Um, basically, this guy had a bowl and he like gagged me until I threw up into it. And then he like pissed in the bowl. And during the scene, he asked me to drink it. And I didn't know how to say no. It was one of the most disgusting, foul scenes I ever had to do. And I'm telling a therapist this and they don't even fucking know what to say to me. Yeah. yeah. No one can relate. Like no one fucking knows what to say about it. I'm not saying that I was raped. Mm -hmm. I, but you were put in the spot. You were I, put, yeah, I told this guy like, yeah, I'm excited. Let's do this. 
I just, I didn't know how to say no. I, yeah. I didn't, I just wanted everyone to be happy. So it's, I can't blame anyone. All that I can do now is make the best of yeah. my experiences yeah. and accept it, which is really hard for me to do. Um, Sorry, what was your question again? Um, I mean, no, like, I think you pretty much answered my question. <laughs> so Lana had a baby with an NBA basketball player. This is her talking about the baby. People are making memes and TikToks saying two things. One, that my child is going to be bullied in school. And two, they're making TikToks about my delivery of my child and um, like children going down water slides. I actually haven't seen any of that. <laughs> I have yeah. it on TikTok. Though. Well, those are majority what of the comments like on my Instagram, on my TikTok, on my Twitter, just saying stuff like that. And then also just like, I feel bad for the kid because your mom did porn. Um, I have one thing to say to that. I feel bad for you. You clearly had a terrible mom who raised a son that talks like that to women. Wait, 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 wait. You feel bad about the person's mom that raised this kid to call a hoe when he sees a hoe, but you don't feel bad about you as a mom who basically destroyed your child's life? You don't feel bad about that? All of your kid's friends are gonna watch you getting destroyed on the internet and you don't feel bad about that. You clearly had a terrible mom who raised a son that talks like that to women. All right, so I'm gonna end this one with giving some advice to the women out there. Think twice before doing an OnlyFans, before going into prawn, before, you know, posting pictures of yourselves online. One day you're going to have a family, you're going to have kids and a husband who's going to see that stuff. These kind of women cannot maintain relationships because no man alive is going to be okay with the type of things that she's been through and the type of things that have been done to her. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, spread this video around until the next one.